floods, earthquakes, tornadoes, wildfires. Everything can change in an instant when emergencies strike. I'm Ness Murby. I'm a Paralympian, I'm blind, I'm a disaster survivor, and I'm your host for this video series that is your guide to prepare and plan for natural emergencies in Canada. This is your AMI Emergency Series. Power outages. We all rely on power for heat and air conditioning, lighting, internet, phone lines, hot water, and even running water. To be without it for anyone is inconvenient, but with someone with loss of sight, it can be hazardous. While most power outages are short, loss of power can last hours or days. Before an outage, there's often no warning, but if a storm is brewing, recognize the potential for a power outage and be prepared. First, let's talk about that important lifeline, our phones. When your battery runs out, you could be without your apps like Be My Eyes or updates from key news sources like emergency broadcasts or social media. To keep your devices charged, have a portable backup battery and get a battery or crank operated radio that has a weather band to listen for warnings, advice and instructions. Some devices will include a portable backup battery, a crank or solar panel to help charge it and a radio to stay up to date. What else can you do to weather a power outage? If it will help you or others in your family, have candles, flashlights, or battery-operated LED lights within easy access. Make sure your fridge is set at or below four degrees Celsius. If the power goes out, the food in your fridge is safe for at least four hours, and food in a fully packed freezer can stay safe for 48 hours if the door is kept closed. It's a good idea to prepare a cooler packed with ice and fill it with the food you plan to use during the power outage. This way you can avoid opening the fridge repeatedly. When power is restored, open the fridge and freezer. Feel the food to assess it. Anything still frozen in the freezer or cold in the fridge will be okay, and many things can be refrozen. But when in doubt, just throw it out. While the power's out, never use camp stoves or barbecues indoors, and don't leave open flames unattended. Carbon dioxide can build up in the room, and that can be dangerous. It's safe to stick with easy snacks, like protein supplement bars or meal replacement drinks. Have them ready for emergencies, along with food your service animals and pets are familiar with eating. Later in this series, we have a video that covers food and how it fits in to your emergency kits. You can use apps like Be My Eyes or Ira to stay safe and connect with volunteers who may be able to help out or provide power updates. Don't forget, rely on your sensors, like sounds and smells that can alert you to an electrical fire. Power outages affect gas lines. Natural gas smells like rotten eggs. So if you detect that smell, evacuate safely, don't use open flames, and report the leak immediately. If you have to evacuate, Turn off your main electrical breaker. This can help prevent damage to electronics and appliances if the power surges when it comes back on. And familiarize yourself with your home's breaker box in advance. Mark each switch with either a tactile dot or braille label for easy identification. Finally, for those of you who use medically assistive devices that require power, do consider having a professionally installed emergency generator so that you'll have reliable access to power for your device. Watch the complete AMI emergency series on ami.ca, on the AMI-tv app, and on the AMI YouTube channel.